Hi, I'm Julie Hanks, LCSW, with a question from a 16-year-old female. She wonders, is my psychologist out of line? I've been in therapy since I was 14. I recently got a new therapist who's a guy and I'm a girl. I'm now 16 and I've been seeing him for about six months uh, now to try and treat my depression and bulimia. At first, I really liked him, but a couple of months back, uh, once he'd gotten to know me better, he started touching me. And in no way do I mean sexually, but I don't like being touched by anyone. One time he put his hand on my leg and I asked him to back off. He apologized and it was fine. He has asked me personal questions about my sex life and encouraged me to answer them even though I didn't feel comfortable doing so. I thought it was all part of therapy, but when I thought about it, it kind of didn't make sense. I thought this man was a genuinely nice guy, but now I don't know, I don't know whether he is a creep or if he's just an open person. He said he looks forward to seeing me every week because he thinks of me as a friend and that he can relax. He's told me heaps of stuff about his family, showed me pictures of his kids. He's told me about his past. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but that kind of stuff doesn't seem normal. But he's such an understanding guy, not your average creep, and I really do like him. He's probably the best psychologist I've seen. Is this stuff normal? Help. I think with this you really need to trust your gut. I'm glad you wrote in. There are some definite red flags here, things that are not appropriate for a therapist, let alone an adult male therapist with a 16-year-old uh, young woman. So trust your gut, talk to your parent or parents about your concerns, and it may be time for you to find another therapist. Even though he's a good psychologist and a good guy, um, the red flags for me are him putting his hand on your leg. That's not appropriate for a male to do to a young female. Uh, the fact that he's talking a lot about himself, that's, that's a red flag. While some self-disclosure is normal, it needs to really have a purpose that benefits the client, not benefits the uh, therapist. And the fact that he says he considers you a friend and that he, it's a time he can relax, that's, it's not a time for him to relax and you're not a friend, you're a client. And those are really different. So definite red flags, talk to your parent and I would suggest uh, you know, changing therapists and uh, reporting him to his licensing board because this, this is really concerning. So thank you for writing in. Um, and again, trust your gut. Your gut is, is correct. <laughs> I'm Julie Hanks, LCSW. Find out more about me and my practice at juliehanks.com.